Today we have this nice question, which is a mixture of both factorial and quadratic equations. n minus 1 factorial plus 1 equals n square. So, can you solve it? Okay, just a quick recap for those who don't know what a factorial is. When you see something like n factorial, it means you multiply all the natural numbers from 1 up to n. For example, 5 factorial means 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1, which is 120. Now here you can see that this 5 factorial can also be written as 5 times. This entire thing is the same as 4 factorial. So any n factorial can also be written as n times n minus 1 factorial, and thus we can again rewrite this n minus 1 factorial as n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial, right? Also note that by definition, we use 0 factorial as 1. Now take this one on the right-hand side to get n minus 1 times n minus 2. Factorial equals n square minus 1. Now here comes the magic. This one can also be written as 1 square, right? So this right side is of the form a square minus b square, which we all know is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Therefore, this will become n minus 1 times n plus 1. Noise. Oh, look, n minus 1 will also get canceled out from both sides, and we will be left with n minus 2 factorial equals n plus 1. Now, let us substitute a variable k as n minus 2. So, take 2 this side to get n equals k plus 2, and hence n plus 1 equals k plus 2 plus 1, or k plus 3. Hence, this equation can be rewritten as k factorial equals k plus 3. Now, obviously, this left-hand side is a factorial, which is an integer, and hence k plus 3. Or the right side must also be an integer, which implies k is also an integer. Now, take this k on the left-hand side to get k factorial minus k equals 3. And then write this k factorial as k times k minus 1 factorial. So, take k as common from here to get k times this will be k minus 1 factorial minus, this will be 1, and this equals 3. Now, both these values must be an integer. Also, there are only two ways to factorize 3, which are 1 times 3 and 3 times 1. So, there are only two options to satisfy this equality. First is if k equals 1 and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals 3. This means k minus 1 factorial equals 3 plus 1 or 4, which is not possible because if k is 1, then this will become 0 factorial, which is 1. Now, 1 cannot be equal to 4, so we will discard it. Then the second possibility is that if k equals 3 and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals 1. This means k minus 1 factorial equals 1 plus 1 or 2, which is correct, because if k is 3, then k minus 1 factorial equals 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1 or 2, and hence the left side equals right hand side. So, k equals 3. This means n equals k plus 2 or 3 plus 2, which is 5, and that's it. This is the only possible solution for n. Let us verify the same. n minus 1 factorial equals 5, minus 1 or 4 factorial, which is 24, plus this one equals 25. And for the right-hand side, n square is 5 square, which is also 25. And there we go. Like, share, and subscribe. So good.